Greetings citizens of the world, citizens of the internet, and all participating members. We are in anonymous Ukraine. Disgusted with the neo-Nazi fascists of Stepan Bandera and his associates' role in creating a tinderbox situation in Ukraine, a few of our members hacked into the fascists' emails and found widespread meddling by the United States, NATO, the European Union, the NSA, and the CIA into the internal sovereign affairs of Ukraine. The latest emails, released by us, proves that the Bandera Nazis are allied with the Islamic extremists, the voice of Russia noted. We have breached the communication of Laurinus John Avasius, advisor to the president of Lithuania, to Vitaly Klitschko, the leader of the opposition party, Ukrainian Democratic Alliance for Reform. The content of these letters shows how Western countries finance and control Vitaly Klitschko through intermediary of Lithuanian government. We also breached emails between Pravi Sector, Tarasenko, and the deputy chairman of the Majlis of the Crimean Tatar people, Aslanoma Kirimli, in which Tarasenko asks for more powerful weapons, information on the location of weapons caches in Kerch, Theodosia, Simferopol, Sevastopol, and Yalta. Everything is going according to plan. We are ready to proceed to the second part of the play. Lyndon LaRouche stressed on this, this is thermonically a war they are going for. Of course the fraud level is enormous, what do you expect? This is not going to be bluff. Among other interesting findings, we discovered the nexus between the secessionist Crimean Tatars and the Uas of Xinjiang, China. One email communication said, I understand that our Turkish friends and have already done a lot, but you know me, I never ask for anything extra. The Turkish connection is complex, but Crimea has long established Turkish Islamist underground, consisting of Crimean Tatars, and, surprisingly, according to sources, who was from Xinjiang, the Uyghur Autonomous Region of China. The Crimean Tatar groups have long been preparing for the proclamation of an independent state, and pursue conflicting goals from the Ukrainian nationalist. Meanwhile, the neo-Nazis of Europe have begun to unite at Kyiv. The Daily Beast reported Friday that a group of European neo-Nazis are traveling to Ukraine to save the white race. In early February, the Sweden neo-Nazi, Fredrik Hagberg, stood at the rostrum in Kyiv City Hall, festooned with flags, some Celtic crosses, a stray Confederate banner, a standard for the political party Svoboda, whose members essentially controlled the building reflecting the true color of the occupiers. We just got boots on the ground, and are discussing with Svoboda representatives, and other nationalists, what we can assist with, Magnus Saderman, the neo-Nazi organizer, of the Swedish-Ukraine volunteers, told the Daily Beast. We are anonymous Ukraine. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Operation Independence continues. Expect us.